Hello, hello, it's Gem Games, and today we are going to continue with the series. So, yeah, let's get started. First, let's go to the PP, the first person character. And now, let's open the fire weapon. And actually, now we can disconnect the automatic fire from here. And now we can uh, do this and right click and collapse to function. And let's call the function. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's call it fire trace for example I will move it here here the fire weapon okay and then let's and then we have to uh, uh, um. oh we have to from here set timer by function name and now we will maybe call the function let's call it auto fire and now i will copy it like this and the time should be the fire rate okay and now we should click looping through like that compile and save yep and now let's promote this to a variable let's call it Automa auto fire mm, timer for example. Okay. Now now let's create a, another function. Auto fire. This has to be uh, like uh, written exactly the same as um da -da -da where was I here? Exactly same as this one. So yeah. Now we can, or we have to call the function here. Like this. And after this, I think we only have to, let's open the uh, auto fire. And now let's connect the, this fire trace. Fire trace to here. Okay. Now let's close it and this also. Okay. Now I think no we have to go to the event graph and to here. Let's move this to here. And from the released, actually we have to first get the weapon uh, not weapon but, uh, fire type and switch on fire type like this. And from the released, let's get this. And we only have to Get the automatic and get a branch. And I will move this a little bit further down. Okay. And now when we have the branch, we just have to get the automatic auto fire timer and let's check if it is valid. Okay. And uh, now we have to get it again or from here clear and invalidate timer by handle like this if it's true okay actually now we have to let's remove this recoil from here let's open the fire trace and let's add the recoil after this so where is the recoil oh okay so uh, let's call recoil okay Oh, I think it should work. Yes, it works. And when you stop shooting, it stops. So the automatic fire works. Okay. Yep. And also let's check if the single fire works. If I keep it pressed. It only shoots one. If I click, yeah, okay, and let's change it back to the automatic. Okay, and, and so now let's uh, go back back to here. And from the trace before the fire weapon, we have to <clears throat> we have to add a gate. This is just 
so we cannot press uh, so quickly that the single fire is like uh, or it becomes like faster than uh, automatic fire so it never exceeds the uh, fire rate speed so yeah let's do it and the fire weapon is here on the exit and then we have to do a sequence that's not sequence sequence and from this uh, zero we have to go uh, to a close I will move this to here okay and now from the one re-trigger up delay like this and now the duration should be the fire rate yes and from here we have to go back to the open so let's actually add a re rewrote node like this and go to the open and now I can move this to here this to here now I think it I think it should work work actually we can also do this and uh, collapse the macro and it should be called like mm, let's call it fire macro for example let's open it okay it looks same then as before okay I will close it and the fire trace and now if I change my weapon to single fire and set the fire rate to one second I shouldn't be able to click uh, uh, quickly okay now it doesn't even work oh I think I forgot to let's open the fire macro and start closed let's unclick it so it starts open now it okay let's change it back to a fire to one second and now if I try to click many times it only shoots once per second so now it works now I will change it back to a 0.1 and let's change the, this to an automatic and now it also works okay and now let's add the bullet spread let's actually add here like 250 maybe here also 250 so yeah now uh, we have to go to the fire uh, no 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 we can close this we have to get the fire trace this one and now we have to move this a little bit here and to here we have to add plus and let's connect it to there okay and now let's move this to here and we have to get from here get right vector like this and the right vector should be multiplied multiply by single precision float and the float float should be um, where is it bullet spread from here float should be uh, actually we have to get from here uh, also random float in range like this and then we have to I will actually move this a little bit here this connect to max and multiply by minus one minimum minimum value now it should be good and now from here we have to now we have to um, this um, actually we have to plus like this and then we have to connect this to here 
And now we have to. Oh, we have to actually copy this and duplicate it. And this is exactly the same, but only thing different. We have to now get the get up vector. Okay. Now we have to multiply with a, a single precision float like this. Now we have to add this to here. I think now we should actually let's remove this this to here or to here. Let's copy it to here. Well, I think it looks a little bit cleaner. Okay. Now I think it should work. Yes. It is working, and we can actually uh, unlink that and try it like this, so you can see it better. Yes, you can see it is the bullet spread is working. We can actually try it. We can change this to to for example. Now, if we try, this is the bullet spread. We are getting it's random to every direction, and the maximum value is the 700 right now, which I will turn back to a 500, maybe. I think so. Yeah, I think this may be all for this video. Let me check. Yes, I think this is all for this video. No. Mm. Yes, this is all for this video. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And yeah, if you like, consider to sub subscribe. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.